Rockwell Family Gaming Crew. It is your girl, Nobles Ruby 13, and today I took a bit of a break from Harmony of Dissonance, considering I am really, really lost in that game. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. But anyway, we are playing a brand new game. Uh, it is one of my favorite Castlevania games. I have played this game before. It is called Area of Sorrow. It is a little bit different than your average Castlevania game, due to the fact that you are not playing as a Belmont. You are playing as the uh, reincarnation of Dracula, and he doesn't know it. Um, you play as a guy named Soma, who starts getting weird powers and doesn't seem to understand what is going on. And like every good Castlevania game, there is a good, bad, and perfect ending. Uh, as always, we are going to continue to try to get the perfect ending, but anything can happen. Uh, we have to uncover the mysteries of this game to get the perfect ending, um, and that's what we're going for. Let's get right into it. The year is 2035, Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first polar solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz and I am a high school exchange student studying aboard in Japan. I live near Hakabuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my class boy and childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but for some strange reason, the stairway leading up to the shrine keeps us from our destination. Basically, it's saying that they're going into a completely different world as they make their way up the stairs, both him and his childhood friend Mina. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? So, you decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? It's okay, Soma. His name is Genya Arikado. A fun fact, Genya Arikado is actually Alucard. Alucard is still alive after hundreds of years. And he has taken on a human persona uh, to keep his father Dracula at bay. And if we get any type of good ending, uh, we get to play as him um, if uh, Soma becomes Dracula. So that is a bonus game. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that bonus game. Inside the eclipse? You're insane. Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy. Damn. Protect the girl. Wow. Go back to where you came from. What was that thing? So it has awakened. She's trying to get back in the bathroom. The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why would I have that power? You have gained the power, now you must ma go to the master's chamber. For what reason? 
Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber, then. You will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put her in a protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Then, then I... Yes, only you can save her from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both of you own life... Both your own life and hers are at stake. These are the safe spots in this game. Looks a little bit different, because they are. First boss, not that hard.
I don't remember where all of the, uh, safe spots are. So, like any good Castlevania game, we're gonna stay where we know. And unlike other Castlevania games, enemies can appear in the, um... ...boss rooms. So just be careful, because you might have something a little bit nastier than the boss in that room, so... ...just be careful. said Peeping Eye had some really good powers. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. He's so hard to get, though. So I might just continuously try to kill him until I get the power. Um, it all depends. It's a very, like, rare occurrence to get his ability. I might get lucky, but it's, it's hard to get lucky this early on in the game. Um, But I kind of do want his power, because his power is going to help me out immensely. Because there are secrets in this game, like that. And the best way we can uh, get those... Uh, holding my breath that I'm gonna actually get it. Really not holding my breath right here. It's not required, it's just helpful to have it. That's 
God, that's so annoying. So flying armor kind of allows my jump to hover a little bit. And uh, that's going to get me in some areas I couldn't necessarily get to earlier. Uh, for example, this height up here. Um, I will be allowed to now get in there. Uh, and we're just in the very beginning of the game, so we're not gonna, like, find anything too, too difficult to get through. Um... Dragons are always a big pain in the ass. We're also going to be looking for a guy named Hammer. Hammer is going to be our merchant. Uh, this is one of the first Castlevania games that features a gun. Uh, very one of the very first. Huh? Yeah, he told me to put it in your closet. Tape. I didn't see any tape. Yes, you can get powers multiple times, and it just strengthens the power, like, uh, when, uh, you play Bloodstained and you get better powers for how many times you, uh... Hello there. Uh, hello. You're, you're human, aren't you? Relax, my name is Graham. Let's just say I'm a missionary. Oh, I'm Soma. Soma Cruz. You weren't here in the shrine before, were you? How did you get here? I'm not sure I went through the shrine grate and broom I was here. I see. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead, I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. But isn't Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? In theory, yes, but the true castle exists somewhere else. 
Is Tyr Castle? Yes, it's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? Well, uh, no, I thought the story of Dracula was made up, actually. No, it's all true. It was leaked into... It was leaked to the outside world. Usually the church handles these things with utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times. When people lost faith and craved chaos and destruction. So are you trying to tell me that Dracula has been resurrected? No, Dracula perished in 1999. You know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostradamus? Great prophecy? That's right, Dr Dracula was resurrected exactly as he predicted. But vampire hunters destroyed him completely. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing his castle. The symbol of, demo of his demonic power is inside the darkness of the eclipse. And that eclipse is where we are now. Yes, but there's still more to the story. There's more. In the year 2035, a new master will, will come to the castle and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, that time is now. I better get going. Is that all then? Uh, yes, thank you. Farewell, and be careful. Yes, you too. We're gonna realize real quickly that he's not friendly. Close enough. I wanted a bigger weapon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got him. A deadly chimera. Trophy on. Judith, how are you? I would love a safe spot right now.
I'll be right back, guys. Give me one minute. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Not feeling too good today. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Yoko Bolnades. I'm a member of the church. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Ala... I mean, Genya, Arakado, right? I did meet him, but he told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Arakado said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may look, be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait, did you say my powers are dark? Oh, you mean you didn't know that? I have no desire to do that. It comes as naturally as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I call it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. It, you, its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. Well, when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose my sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second-guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. Heh. <laughs> I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Graham? Graham? Yes, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way. He did not look like a bad guy. <laughs> right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He may... He's not who you think he is. Uh, alright. Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. So that was Yoko.
I knew he was going to eventually get me. Got him. Iron fist and an iron glove. Trophy earned. Bash you. <laughs> Hammer! Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name is Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. I thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So I just bailed on my mission? <laughs> what do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered in at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Ah, good for you. There are weapons all over this castle and no monster at the front gate. Good place for our shop. Come on by. I'll give you a good deal. See you around. A shop, huh? I don't get it. Nice, I got my mid jump.
Push the box over here. Oh! <laughs> 
I want her power really badly. She's got a pretty cool power. If I can get it leveled up all the way. The uh, girl with like, all the fucking swords. Yeah. If I can get her power, that'd be kind of nice. She's got a really nice one. He's got a nice power too, and he's got a nice sword. Uh, of course not. There's my first portal. Let's go.
get to that one room. Okay, right here. Walk on water if I go find the power, I'm not sure where it is. No. Not yet. That's later on. I know that's like the maybe 20th level, maybe 15th. You can, but it's extremely hard. It is like a 1 in 3,000. I want it, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. It's like stupid difficult, it's like 1 in 3,000. This is the first game it started. And then they brought it back in Dawn of Sorrow, which is just as hard to get it there as it is here. And, uh, it's just really difficult to get. Yeah, it's so fucking difficult to get. It's like I said, it's one in three thousand, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of the hardest abilities to get in the game. Oh yeah, there's a couple places you can farm them. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a luck factor, and I have to get my luck a little bit higher than where it is. I'm not even getting the axe armor, and the axe armor is usually a lot easier to get. Because this is the first game where you actually get powers from the monsters. Uh, this was made in 2003, I want to say. This was the first Castlevania game that they did this. This was also the first Castlevania game where you did not be a Belmont or someone with a vampire killer. getting somewhere. Okay, I can't go there yet, but we can go up. Oh, it only goes a certain... Oh, that's fucked. So, I have to get that water standing ability. I cannot go up there until I get it. So, this area is the wrong way.
And this was the first game that I truly appreciate and love the music in the game. I truly appreciate the, the music in this game. This is when the Castlevania music really started getting good. God, I hate this fucking boss coming up. I hate dance halls. They are never any fun. I'm gonna say that right now. Oh, Julius! Strange, I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? Is it rude to ask before introducing yourself? Yeah, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I was told I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my past. Oh, I see. My name is Soma. Your dark power. Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have you come to the castle? Call me J. I am filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I have felt like my memory is returning and your accident occurred in 1999. Maybe Dracula was involved? I fear you are correct, especially since I have magic powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that but I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, see ya. So back in uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, Richter falls into dark hands and becomes brainwashed. Because that happened to him, the Belmonts were cursed and they were not able to touch the vampire killer for a hundred years. Uh, that hundred years went uh, ended in 1999 and Jay aka Julius Belmont uh, was able to get the whip again and continue the path of keeping Dracula at bay um, but then there was a serious accident with Julius and he of course lost his memories of that fight um, another thing that was a little annoying about the whole Julius story is that there is actually no Castlevania game where um, you actually do the 1999 Julius Dracula fight. Um, which, it, it, it's kind of upsetting because it would be kind of cool to see. Julius is probably one of the most uh, favorited Belmonts, minus Richter and Simon. Um, Julius is kind of Ro uh, Yoko's love interest, uh, since Yoko is a Belnades, and if you remember, Trevor and Saifa got together, and Saifa is also a Belnades, and so is Trevor, and Trevor is a Belmont. So, Belmonts and Belnades always seem to find one another. I just want her power. That's all I want. Can I please have her ability? Please? Please? 
May I have her ability? That's all I want. That's all I want. There we go! Oh, it wasn't her. It was her other one. Yeah, it's the other one. There's two of them that have different costumes. They look alike. The other one has the power I want. I kind of figured that was a chance. There was a possibility that could happen, but... Interesting power. Let me check. Hmm. We're gonna keep it with the what we have. Oh, da, da, da. We're gonna use Durga. Durga's just got a little bit more. Mm. I've never liked a dancing hall. I've never, ever liked dancing hall. It is so confusing. I'm so confused. I'm already confused, and I haven't even grazed this freaking area. I mean, hell, I'm not even- I'm not getting lucky with getting anybody's ability. I haven't even gotten, uh... The Ghost Dancers, and that's usually an easy one to get. Oh, great. This guy again. We got a wooden goblin. Golem. There we go. Why can't I get his weapon? Would've been very happy with that weapon. It's not a sword, it's a halberd. Or a naginata if you uh, really want to be technical. Yeah, it's a halberd. I 
I know he drops it, I just haven't seen him drop it. Really? I just came over here for $200 and that's it? Are you freaking kidding me? I really hate these freaking areas. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. Jeez, he looks familiar. Wasn't he the first boss we fought? Yes, yes he was. Uh, uh, we're gonna see the Montecore as well, or not the Montecore, the uh, Chimera. Uh, the Chimera is also gonna be a normal uh, villain, I think, in the uh, Caverns, if I'm not mistaken. It's either the Caverns or it's in the uh, Clock Tower. God, I hope that she's not in the Clock Tower. Knowing my luck, it's probably in the Clock Tower. Oh well. These killer butchers made me so damn uncomfortable when I was younger. They just had like the weirdest looking outfits. They don't get any better in Dawn of Sorrow, by the way. So if you were expecting like maybe a nice little change of pace for the evil butchers, you'd be wrong. This could have been the best thing that could have happened to me. So there is a way to make your life really easy by uh, going on this other side. It does take a little bit of damage to get back there, but not impossible. And once you get behind him, killing him becomes much more easier. Because uh, he can't turn around. So just keep that in mind because we're going to see him again. He's another one that reappears once you get further into the castle. Uh, so, with that being in mind, we're gonna leave him alone. 
should be a, another villain here. Maybe not. No. Okay, you saw that, right? So, there is- that is a special monster. Uh, you can only get him out in specific ways. I think there are at least six special monsters in both, uh, Area of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow, and the only way you're going to get them is if you perform a special power in that room. I do not have that power. I don't remember which power it is. I think I have to throw the Mandrake at him, which is a screaming, uh, root. Uh, but, yeah, we're gonna see a few special, uh, we're gonna see a few special monsters like that. Ah, we got the, uh, crouch, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to one specific area. Uh, we're gonna take the portal, take a shortcut. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Doing a bit of backtracking to get a power that I think is the walk on water power, if I'm not mistaken. It is important to get it, so that's why we're backtracking. Because we finally got the uh, slide attack that we can use to get some of these items that were out of our reach, but just barely. So we're gonna go all the way down here. We're gonna take care of Witch Girl over here, and then we're gonna slide in here. We got Ancient Book number one. Um,
Oh, okay. That's a special room. That's a special room. That book is telling me of a monster that we're going to have to fight later. Alright, we can't get through here, so we're going to go back. Yeah, probably some bot. That's what I'm gaining out of it, because it's like the second time it's happened with two different people I didn't recognize. Probably those weird websites that kids really shouldn't be going on, and I'm probably gonna have to delete them later. I hate it when those bots do that crap. We're gonna go see Hammer for a second. See if he's got a better weapon for me. Combat knife. Spanking sword. Should make our life a little bit easier. It is. 
Uh, I keep going to check on Hammer, because Hammer gets new items depending on where I've been. And sometimes he's got a better sword than what I currently have, so I'll go ahead and buy it. Someone's jealous. I think I'm gonna go through one more boss battle. Finally! <laughs> okay, so you see this guy, that waiter skeleton? Uh, in both games, Aria of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow, you definitely want to get his power, if you can. It is another one that's really, really difficult to get, but if you do get it, uh, you've made your life really easy for yourself, because uh, his power, believe it or not, is throwing a banana cream pie at you. And that banana cream pie does a hell of a lot of damage, let me just say. Uh, especially in the second game, where you can kill bosses with, like, two hits with that pie. It gets that ridiculous. Oh, he also throws his own head. But, uh, usually he throws a pie. Um... It's a ridiculous power. I'm just gonna say that right now. It's freaking ridiculous. Fun fact, some of these villains you can actually jump on and kill them that way. Yeah, uh, other ones you actually have to jump on to get them. Damn, still no power. Yeah, I'm not even going to try for the banana cream pie. It is, like, stupid hard to get. Just like Peeping Eye. Um. And I would like to finish this game before I die of old age. I think I've only gotten to get the, uh, banana cream pie weapon. It's either a banana cream or a Boston cream. I don't remember. Um, but the only game that I successfully got that power from is Dawn of Sorrow. I was never able to get the power in this game. I still want that halberd. We just got cuteness overload over here. Oh fuck, it's Penelope. Or Persephone. Persephone. Persephone is a maid, and she's got an interesting power too, but in order for it to do anything, you have to level it up like nine times. She's got a evil... Get this. Vacuum cleaner.
Nope. Fuck. I didn't want to use my power, but whatever. There we go. Should have saved it. Alright, so this uh, boss, if I remember who it is correctly, is a pain in the ass. Because this boss doesn't have one form, this boss doesn't have two forms, this boss has three forms. And they're equally as, yep, it is definitely her. So, she's got a nice collection of heads. The first one ain't too bad. Uh, all you have to do is uh, stay away from her. Yeah, she's called the Headhunter. This head isn't bad. It's the, the snake head that gets really ugly. This one's on also not that great. I got a couple high potions too, so we should be good. Yep, alright, so it's this one I don't like. He acts like fucking Grant from uh, Castlevania 3. Fuck. I don't have any anti venom. Oh, yes, I do. I had one. I just gotta be careful. Did you stop it with the poison? Get down from there! Thank you. Fuck. Get down! Get down from there, you annoying piece of crap! Get down. Now. It's like that really annoying lizard that you don't want in your room and you can't get it down from the roof. I wish I could freaking slice its ta tongue off. Oops. Okay, I can take the sidewall. And that was Headhunter. She gave us the power to collect more souls to gain strength. The more souls we collect, the better the strength. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save. I really never liked her, but she doesn't seem as bad these days. Now we got a witch. Because this uh, game isn't normal. We actually have to deal with uh, enemies in the boss chambers. This is the one I want. Come here, Curly. That's the power I want. I want Curly. She's got amazing ability. And I would love to have it. Get over here. Take. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's not what I wanted, but whatever. Power. I want it. I want your ability, please. 
she's not supposed to be hard to get either. She's supposed to be actually very easy to get. Uh, and I, they had hold, they got my hopes up. I thought I actually got it. Is there more curlies down here? Oh, yes, there is. Yes, please. Oopsie. Oh, Valkyrie! Oh, there's two powers I like in this game. Oh, and they're in the same place, too. That makes my day. I want yours, though. Yours is the one that's interesting. And I gotta heal first. Actually, I'm kind of getting hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I might do a bonus episode today with it, since it's now I'm with two enemies that I absolutely adore their powers. Um, if you did like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and that way you never miss a thing. I'm also on for, uh, Twitch at Rockwell Gaming LLC 0420. Check me out. I play Fortnite there. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.